It's always a good day when they get to introduce something new to the channel. And this time we're going to talk about Cancept knives. This is their main street model. The blade length is 3.41 inches. The designer is Dirk Pinkerton. And it is in 154 cm, green micarta, black stone wash. I like that all that information is out on the box. So that's really appreciated. And speaking of the box, this was a really nice unboxing experience, by the way. Something that I don't always get with knives that are sometimes three or four times as expensive as this knife. And the pouch that it came in is worth noting here because it's thin enough and it's got a nice flap that makes me want to utilize it for a lot of different things. My, I think this is so nice. I, you know what I would love is if they considered putting a little belt loop on the back of this. How nice is this as a potential belt holster and I can see putting a lot of other tools besides knives in here. So I don't normally get that experience, but I really, really like this little case. So moving on, let's showcase the knife. So 154 CM, like I said, the thing that really stands out for me is this Cerakoted thumb stud. They did a really good job. And for I don't know how they got it attached without marring the edges, but hey, there we go. Very, very nice. Black wash here with sort of like an kind of an aged look. They've clearly kind of polished it after the fact to kind of give it those nice lines that pop. Very, very cool. Um, green micarta, one way pocket clip, so that's something. Crossbar lock on bearings. And let's go ahead and take a look at the blade. We have a 3.41 inch Warncliffe design with a flat grind. Very pokey. Very, very, very good for draw cutting and a pretty neutral handle. Action is, well, it's it's fantastic. Honestly, the only thing I could say that's bad about the action or maybe not ideal is I think it's a little low on the, the pull-in. So deploying it, you really have to throw it out there a little bit harder. Just so you don't accidentally go halfway, right? You really have to toss it out there. And of course, it's really, really fun with the crossbar in action. Now, going back to the pocket clip here, I find it particularly strange with a knife at this price point that we should be seeing screws that are standing proud of the clip. That should not happen anymore. When you're offering a premium knife, and the rest of this knife feels very premium, um, I, I wanna see the screws flush with the clip. At this point, I don't see any excuse. now. Looking at the spacing of this, there's a damn good chance that other brands' clips and screws might actually function with this knife. I'll have to play with that in the future, but it's definitely something to take a look at. Overall, I really like the design, I gotta say. It's very, very, very comfortable in hand. It's good in multiple grips. The, the other thing that I thought was kind of interesting with that Cerakoted thumb stud is it makes it very smooth. Like you really have to get your finger underneath. You can't like just catch portion of it and think that you're going to be able to flick it open. You kind of need to get pushed down on the blade, if you will, to kind of get there. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not. If you have an issue with thumb studs pulling on your pockets, maybe this is a better design for you. Just something of note. I don't want to say good or bad, just different. So that's something to consider. Now, speaking of price, this is very much competitive with similar knives of the same steel. So I think this ran 79, 69 or 79. I gotta remember, I'll put it right here. And uh, that's pretty competitive. The only thing being in my mind, the clip and not having those uh, recessed screws, it just kind of takes it down a little bit in my mind, but the fit and finish, especially on the micarta, which a lot of times is kind of fuzzy it's not fully rounded this is done very 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 well they've even went ahead and kind of cut in where the crossbar sticks out a little bit to get it a little bit easier access all of these things are quite nice i'm looking forward to trying more knives from this brand I, there's a couple of models like the uh like the nesmuk shaped blade that really excites me except that that's a premium knife i would love to see them make a budget friendly version in 154 cm that would be really, really cool. But for an EDC, this is a pretty slick little piece, especially because it has a very stout knife, a stout knife, a stout tip 
for draw cutting. So I can see this being really useful for a lot of people. And you gotta love the crossbar lock. It's just a really good, you know, universal lock for right and left handers, but there is no left-handed pocket clip. I mean, I think it's safe to say that if you have either a button lock or a crossbar lock, you should have a position to attach on both sides, especially since it looks like this clip is sitting on top of the scales, so it doesn't require any sort of real marring except to have a couple of holes right there. And so if that's all it takes, I mean, it seems like a pretty easy thing to do that would just improve it ever so much. And yeah, I think when you're competing with companies like Kaiser in this price point, I think that that just puts it in the, the right place. Overall though, really, really nice design. Nice little fit and finish here with the Cerakote on that thumb stud. Yeah, everything's executed very, very well here. Not much more to say. Looking forward to trying more from the company. Let me know down in the comments, what is your experience with this company? This is my first time and uh, doesn't look like it'll be the last. As always, thank you for your time and we'll talk again soon.